Welcome. Let's talk about identification of thoracic problems on x-ray. So how to read a chest x-ray. There are many ways to read a chest x-ray, but there is a common mnemonic that you can use it. Going with the spirit of ATLS and ALS, it's called ABCD approach. So when first you have when you read the chest x-ray, you have to know the whether it is AP view or PA view or whether the, view, um, the, the name of the patient, the date, the hospital that been taken, the time. So all this is uh, essential. But to get a systematic way, not to miss important things, is, is to have this way, A, B, C, D. A, look at the airway, searching for the trachea and bronchi. B, breathing, to look for the lungs, breathing, lungs and bones. Circulation heart and mediastinum, uh, which indicate large vessels, D, diaphragm, and also cost of renic angle, E, extra axial soft tissue, so any extra thing like tubes, monitor pad, foreign bodies, tubes. Um, so let's get an example, the ABCD uh, first airway. So if you look, there is a black area like this. This is called it... Um, trachea, then the trachea have uh, uh, left main and right main bronchi. Then um, th usually the airway is somewhat mediated to the left, uh, to the right side. This is normally like that. So this is right side of the patient. This is left side written on that one. And the next one is breathing, lungs and bones. So you have to look at the lung, the lung field is when you look at the lung, there is usually some white areas happening there and some uh, white strikers. These are vessels. So usually lungs have vessels. It's black in color and uh, uniform, both sides. Um, next, you look for the, for the bonus. And if you look, this is the clavicle. Uh, this is the clavicles. So these are the ribs first, second, third, fourth. So you go with the ribs, and then uh, we have also the spinous. If you look, these are the spinous, and um, this one is the scapula. Even you can see the shoulder. So these are the bones that you look. Um, of course, if the patient is having a trauma, you have to look for the bones. If you are having a lung problem, look at the lung. And then circulation. In the circulation, you have to look for the cardiothoracic ratio. So this is the cardiac um, border. This, this is the dimension of it should be less than half of the cardiothoracic ratio. So if you measure this length, the thoracic ratio, the cardiac ratio should be less than half. And then... Um, also looking for the mediastinum. This is mediastinum, the white area here. If it is distended, it might be due to a ruptured vessel or a distended aneurysm. Then diaphragm. The diaphragm, you have to look for the uh, diaphragm. Of course, the right diaphragm is higher than the left diaphragm, the right one higher because of the liver. Also, you have to look for the cost of renic angle here. It does not appear. It should be sharp. In its character then extra axial soft tissue so for example you have to look for this area which is white also this area is white if there are black streaks it might be due to subcutaneous emphysema other thing is what is this this is the uh, spine board the spinal board so this is the spinal board appearing here and these are the um, monitor monitor pads and also the, there might be tubes that sometimes appear on the chest x-ray. So let's go to the examples. In this patient, if you look that at the airway, this is this is airway, it seems normal and this is the right main bronchus and this is the left one. The right lung looks having uh, white dot is called lung marking. The lung marking here is normal, but if you look at the right side, you can see marked 
the lung marking and the white strikes only in in that area there is no lung marking in this area this is due to uh, pneumothorax so um, it means that there is collection of air in the pleura causing collapse of the lung this is the lung this is pneumothorax and if you look closely you can see that the right uh, diaphragm which should be upper which should be upper uh, or than than compared to the left one um, uh, is at the same level this is because because of this tension uh, if you look at the cardium there is some narrowing of the cardiac shadow because of compression uh, by the because of the compressive forces uh, of the pneumothorax uh, we, so the c is uh, here also the mediastinum and we look at the diaphragm then looking at the other uh, soft tissues there is no problem in the bones in this patient um, although the exposure is somewhat um, not very well but if you look at the airway this is the airway uh, looks normal then the breathing on the right side uh, looks normal there is uh, lung markings but if you look at the left side here until you reach at this level um, you can see that here at that point there is a lung marking uh, the lung marking ends here and the other side is black in color or or there is no lung marking at that at that area this is due to pneumothorax so again there is pneumothorax if you look there is fracture of the clavicle there is fracture of that rib and that rib um, so there are fracture of some ribs cardiac shadow looks normal and uh, the diaphragm looks normal and also the extra axial soft tissue on the right side looks normal but on that side there is some uh, black areas this is due to subcutaneous emphysema mostly due to trauma to the left side of the chest okay the next example is that one the airway looks central okay and this is uh, left main bronchus this is right main bronchus the lung here is normal on the right on the right side but on the left side there is complete opacification this complete opacification in the setting of trauma is most likely due to hemothorax so hemothorax in this patient is detected if it is just a medical case it might be hemothorax but might be massive pleural effusion so you have to know that on chest x-ray fluid or blood uh, look look white on the chest x-ray the cardiac shadow is here and the diaphragm on this side appear but on this side it does not appear there is no uh, other uh, extra axial soft tissue but here uh, there is a part of the monitor next case again there is a uh, some uh, lung tissue and there is hemothorax with some collection of blood here so it is hemonemothorax and the uh, all the mediastinum and the heart are compressed to the other side so this is um, this means that the patient is having uh, tension pneumothorax another common problem during trauma is um, that area so if you look uh, this is the airway these are the airways then the breathing on the right side is normal on the left side there is whitening of that area of the lung and if you look closely you can see fractures in these areas so um, the fracture plus whitening of this area teroma most likely due to lung contusion so this is a contusion if you have the same patient with the same changes this is called grand glass opacity with the same changes on that area for example or that area or that and, and the patient is having fever cough sputum you can say this is a pneumonia so pneumonia appears like that but in the setting of trauma it's most likely a contusion <coughs> 
Next x-ray, um, you can see that the airway is deviated somewhat to the, to the other side, although here is normal. But uh, the, this is the uh, left and this is the right main bronchi. And if you look at the lung, there is lung marking, lung marking in this area up to this region. Then outside this, there is a black area which does not contain lung tissue. And this is due to pneumothorax. But what you see also, you can see uh, fractures of this rib, this rib, this rib, this rib. So there is multi, multi uh, fracture of many ribs. Um, and if you look at the circulation, the cardiac shadow and the mediastinum are deviated to the other side. It means to the normal side. To the left side due to tension pneumothorax there is a chest tube if you look closely you can see a chest tube and these are the uh, sites of the, I mean the picture of uh, of um, spinal board another example um, so this is the airway uh, there is also endotracheal tube the patient seems to be intubated um, the left the right side of the lung looks normal but if you look that there is a fracture of uh, this uh, the clavicle and also of fracture of first and second uh, rib so the fracture of first and second rib might be associated with vascular injuries how do you know um, there is also some whitening here, uh, which is due to lung contusion. If you look at the, at the heart, the heart shadow looks normal, but here the mediastinum is distended, which might be due to um, vascular injury. So again, on the, on the CT scan, this is proven to be rupture of the aorta. In this patient, there was a tension, there was a pneumothorax, which relieved by the chest tube. Then, um, then they saw that uh, there was elevation of the right, left hemidiaphragm. Then the same patient, they put an NG tube. Um, if you look closely, this is the NG tube going like that. The NG tube is coil it into the left side of the chest so it coil it inside it means that there is a fracture uh, a, a rupture of the diaphragm that um, uh, this ng tube can go easily into the lung if you look um, at this patient the airway is central there is there is a there is a uh, endotracheal intubation uh, looking at the b the right, left side is normal but the left but the, but the right side there is lung contusion and there is a side of the chest tube uh, which might be due to pneumothorax that's relieved then uh, there is also fracture of the that rib um, which which is caused by the uh, trauma most likely if, if you look at the uh, C the C is normal and the diaphragms are also normal but if you look at the extra axial soft tissues or extra axial problems, you can see a bullet. So the, bull the bullet might cause that problem. That patient is of a 56 years old male who fell uh, off a ladder with severe head injury. On examination of the um, chest, there was no problems. On chest x-ray, if you see the airway is central, the breathing look is normal, the bones look normal, everything looks is normal. There was only some bruises on both sides of the chest. Because um, the head is injured, they did a CT scan of the head, the neck, and also the chest. So on the CT scan, on the CT scan of the same, same patient, they saw that there was contusions in the lung, contusions in the lung, plus some small pneumothorax. This small pneumothorax can be managed here, both sides, can be managed by, uh, by only by oxygen, but some people uh, get a chest tube to prevent 
uh, further problem, especially if the patient is intubated. Uh, small pneumothorax can convert into attention pneumothorax. So, um, just to remind you that for medical cases, you have to correlate the examination and the history findings with the patient. Um, in this patient, uh, it's a normal chest x-ray, but the patient was having cough fever and sputum and, and also uh, features of pneumonia. But not all pneumonia can appear on the chest x-ray, especially in the first few days of the pneumonia. Uh, this patient have normal airway, breathing, the circulation is normal, diaphragms are normal. If you look closely, you can see an air under diaphragm, that black area, which is normal because this is due to gastric bubble. But if you look at the circulation, the cardiac shadow is normal, but the mediastinum is distended. So this patient was having severe chest pain. You have to search for by doing CT and geography. Okay, this patient was having features of pneumonia, so you can see a consolidation. But here, if you look at this, what is this? This is called air bronchogram. The air bronchogram is very specific for pneumonia. This patient was uh, long pain, was having sudden severe chest pain. On examination, there was decreased air entry on the left side, and the patient was breathless and hypotensive. If you look closely, the airway is normal, the, but uh, the breathing, the breathing, if you look at it, there is some vascularity, so this is uh, normal lung. Uh, if you look at the right side, there is complete blackness of that right, of that right left side. Uh, there is no any, um, there is no any lung marking. The only lung marking appears here, so the lung is collapsed to this level, and if you look closely. The lung, uh, the heart shadow, and the mediastinum uh, are diverted to the other side. This is due to tension pneumothorax on the right side, on the left side, sorry. This patient was having sudden severe abdominal pain, radiated to shoulder, and uh, when they did a chest x-ray, ABCDE normal, uh, uh, except the diaphragm. If you look under the diaphragm, there is streaks of the air, this is called air under diaphragm. So again, this is air under diaphragm, which is free air. Uh, but this one is the air uh, inside the stomach. So this is the positive one. This is normal one. And this is another example of widened mediastinum. But um, if you look closely, you can see that it is an AP view. So on, on AP view, uh, the chest x-ray might look normally as a, a distended mediastinum. You cannot um, decide on that. And thank you.